hello to all my friends out there. So I want to thank you guys for the awesome comments. And last night, one of the uh, followers made an awesome comment. And the, the awesome comment was, why don't you dehydrate your, um, your um, mint leaves? And then you can just use a few for your mint tea. And I thought, oh, that's a good idea. So then things started to, and here, here they are. Uh, they're, they're drying out pretty fast. What I'll do is just switch up my napkins to make sure there's no dampness. I have one covered, one covering just in case, you know, uh, any flies or anything get in here. So, okay, so now what do I have? Okay. And I do kind of have an idea how to do this because my grandmother used to dry uh, all kinds of seeds and stuff in the, uh, she had like a room off of a kitchen. So what I'll do, I wash my, I rinse my dill off. And I bought this dill for $2 at uh, Albertsons. And then once I dry it, I, I will just, uh, take it off of the stems and then you know I'll have it and so I was thinking you know um if something happened so see how my thing was a little bit wet so I'll just keep switching them okay so now I'm going to be doing a little dehydrating I'm not going to say I can't I'm just going to uh start dehydrating stuff. So, okay, I have some bell peppers and some green onion tops, and I'm going to be using the top, uh, the top rack so that I'll just um, use the bottom rack. So, okay, I went to Albertsons, and when I did, I got the meat 30% off. Thin cut steaks. And uh, Sid, I want to thank you so much because... I started watching um, carnivore uh, videos. So um, one of my beefs was $2.30 and one was $2.39. So I have my um, oven, let me show you, set on the lowest speed, about 225. And I saw this girl, so I'm going to do exactly what she did. I want to make my own, my own dried beef. And so they had the perfect, perfect dried beef. And this is all you do. It's already cut thin. And then uh, what she did, and, and she had, she even had a baby eating it. And then I will just dehydrate it, and uh, however long it it takes, I will keep you guys posted. So you saw my, and so I, and I will probably make some yogurt in there, if not tonight, maybe tomorrow. Okay, so now, so what am I doing is I'm just kind of using what I have. So what I have is three onion tops so what I'll do is I'll just dig three little holes I hope I'm not digging on top of something but if I am tough <laughs> my gardens are actually you guys are coming along rather nicely if you ask me Ooh, ooh I looks like I dislodged one I'll plant them around the edge the root should go down Okay, so then I want to, okay, so now you guys, imagine that you did this all the time. When you had a few onions, you, you dehydrated a few. When you had a few, uh, you want to water something when you first plant it. I don't know where that other one is. So my little garden is coming along nicely. 
So, I think this is the crux of uh, being a prepper. You know, if, okay, if, if something happens and the power goes out, you're going to have your own tea. You're going to have your own dill. You're going to have your own steak. Uh, let me show you inside of my oven real quick so you can see. So what I'm going to do, uh, okay, now the lady who uh, dehydrated her steaks, uh, she had a dehydrator. There's the steaks and there's the pepper. I might fit a few, a few, uh, uh, some yogurt in there. So, okay, you guys, God bless you all.